Hey guys, welcome to a video tutorial on how to set up Escape the Mob. So this is very similar to Dragon Escape, which is a plugin on Mindplex.com. And you may have also seen Dragon Escape on Sky Does Minecraft's YouTube channel. He's quite a popular YouTuber. Um, but if you haven't heard of him, uh, go look him up. So uh, I'm going to show you how to create one. Um, so ETM Create Arena and then call it something, so I'm going to call it YouTube because that's cliche and everyone does it. Then you're going to want to set a main lobby, so here we go in the green uh, sphere and you do forward slash etm set main lobby and you don't have to include an arena because it's the main lobby. And now we're going to want to set um, the lobby for the arena, so you do etm create, no set lobby and then the arena name, so YouTube. So as you can probably tell I'm recording this after um, record recording the video because um, I did something no it's the microphone uh, it was glitching out and there was a horrible beeping noise so hopefully that's gone now if it's not um, I'm sorry so now you're gonna want to set a spawn point for you and the dragon uh, so you will spawn in the same place and you'll have five seconds to get away from it so there we go um, forward slash etm set spawn and then YouTube and now you're going to want to fly all the way to the end. Uh, let me just point out that um, when setting the spawn, you must face in the direction of the finish line. Then you do forward slash etm set finish, uh, and then the name YouTube. Now you're going to want to set the boundaries. So forward slash etm set bounds, and then low, so it won't fly lower than this. Uh, come on, type it, type it. Okay, I'm just being a fool. Uh, etm set low. And then you're going to want to do forward slash etm um, set bounds YouTube and then high. So that's uh, very simple. And now we're nearly done. You have to set the flight path now. <laughs> so um, you have to set set at least two points, I believe. So um, I'm going to just fly up a bit. Uh, here we go. So e forward slash etm set fly point and then YouTube. So it will start at zero add another one and another one and then a third one and there we go so now you can do forward slash etm set finish oh no save arena sorry and then youtube so this will take a different amount of time depending on how big it is so now we can go ahead and make a sign up here so here we go mob escape on the first line nothing on the second line and on the third line uh, the name of the arena and now you will be able to see it is a dynamic sign, so it changes. It says how many players are there. And to start the game early, if you haven't met the minimum amount of players, you do forward slash etm uh, and then start. And then obviously the name of the arena. So here we go. Uh, I spawned in. Quick run. I have five seconds to get away from Mr. Douglas. Quick run. Run, you fool. And uh, there is a bit of a glitch where he faces the wrong way. Uh, the developer is working on fixing that. But when you go over the finish line, uh, a firework goes up, you get a reward if you set it in the config, and that is it. A firework goes up, and yeah. So that is all of the in-game stuff. Um, subscribe, like, comment if you don't want to know about the config, but I'm going through the config now. So let's jump in game. I mean config. So guys, we are now in the config file. So there's only one, which is quite nice. Um, it's quite long. Uh, it's fairly straightforward but I'm gonna go through some of it anyway so um, <laughs> let's do this a bit unordinarily and go from the middle upwards because below this it has saved um, the locations and coordinates and different bits of bobs that we set up in game and about players and stuff so um, above this is stuff you can edit so this is simply um, chat so you can change colors add a prefix whatever you want um, to make it look nice you could rename it to if your server was called something like Titan crafted you could have like Titan escape or something cool like that and yeah um, I'm gonna leave that how it is because it, uh, it's fine um, and now we get to the kits so I didn't actually show this in game but if you have played uh, on Mindplex you know about this so um, if you do donate, you get the Warper class, and if you pay, uh, I think it's 3,000 gems, 
uh, you get the TNT class and by default you get the jumper class I believe. So that's quite interesting the way you can do it. Um, you can set the amount of money to maybe um, depending on how much so maybe 500 for that just depending what your economy is like. Um, here this is quite cool you can edit the sign so obviously don't make the, the top of the sign too long because it won't fit in and uh, that won't be good. So colour codes are included so um, forget how many can be on the top line, I think it's about 16, that's probably too long, 12, so <clears throat> probably 16, so that, that that will fit, so that's looking nice now, you can change colours however you want, like so, um, so yeah, maybe add some brackets, everybody loves brackets, because um, they make stuff look more professional, and uh, now, I did this wrong when I recorded it before, uh, there's two types of mobs, so there obviously is dragon, or uh, you can have, uh, was it? It's just one hash. Uh, you can have wither, felt like that, or dragon. So um, that changes the mob. He's going to be adding some more soon, possibly a ghast. That'd be really awesome. Uh, which is a continuation of his previous plugin, Dragon Escape. So um, basically, he's added more mobs, made it better. And yeah, I can't wait to see what else he has. And uh, I'll probably be doing an update video. So um, now you can do different bits of mobs. Spawn when a firework, that's lovely, everyone likes fireworks. <clears throat> Destroy radius. Okay, so I would put this at one or possibly zero. So he doesn't destroy anything. Um, name him something funny like Derek or Dan, if you've watched Alan Partridge. Uh, mob speed, you can change that to make it even worse, um, harder. Uh, winner announcement, yeah. So that brought these broadcast in chat. Um, you can set a reward. So um, once they win, you could add a reward. For example, eco give player um, ten thousand, uh, like so. Uh, use command reward. True. Um, and you can also use uh, item reward. So they, they would get sixty-four diamonds there. Money reward. Um, that's if you don't win, so you've got 300, that's a bit generous. Use economy, true, so you'd need vault. Um, but you choose, so if that's false, they'll get the item. If it's true, you'll get the money. Uh, minimum players, two. Maximum players, four. Start countdown, um, that's a bit too long. Give them six seconds to run away from Douglas. And auto updating true, yeah, that's fine. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Why not click one of the other videos on the left or the right to check out some of my other plugins that I reviewed? As always, subscribe, like, and comment. Cheers.